Section 83 of the Residential Tenancies Act, the mysterious clause that often pops up during landlord-tenant board hearings, leaving everyone wondering, what does this really mean? Section 83 provides adjudicators with the ability to delay or outright refuse an eviction, even if the landlord has proven their case. This magical power is known as relief from eviction, which can be as comforting as it is frustrating, depending on which side you're on. How does it work? The adjudicator must carefully review the unique circumstances of each case to decide whether an eviction should be granted, delayed, or refused. Even if the tenant is found to be at fault, the adjudicator can still decide if their misdeeds are serious enough to justify eviction. If the adjudicator thinks not, Section 83 can swoop in to give the tenant more time or even a second chance. The key is balance. Eviction is seen as a last resort. The adjudicator takes into account all the factors, including the potential impact on other tenants and whether there's any hope of salvaging the landlord-tenant relationship. When tenants get a break, if the tenant has a good reason to argue against eviction, they get their moment to explain why they shouldn't be evicted. The landlord, of course, can rebut, explaining why the tenant staying would be unfair to them or to the poor neighbors who just want a quiet evening in. But here's where things get interesting. Sometimes, the landlord actually benefits from Section 83 too. If a tenant is being a nuisance, causing harm, or disrupting the lives of others in the building, the adjudicator can side with the landlord and fast-track the eviction. In cases where rent is overdue, Section 83 allows the adjudicator to offer a lifeline, like a prompt payment order. This gives tenants a chance to catch up with a payment plan and also the landlord hope that the rent will be paid. But if the tenants misses a beat, the eviction can proceed without another hearing. Consider it the tenant's last chance dance. Landlord woes. If the tenant is significantly behind on rent and can't make the payments, let's be real, no one likes freeloaders. The adjudicator can still offer them a bit of extra time to find alternative housing. Not exactly what landlords dream of, especially when they're already months behind on rent thanks to delays in hearing the case. Here are some examples that illustrate situations in which a delay may be considered. The tenant asserts that the market conditions in the locality are unusually tight and that it will take some time to find suitable accommodation. The tenant shows that they are affected by a severe medical condition, which makes it difficult to find other accommodation, and there are no persons who can help him or her search for a vacant unit. The tenant's family is very large, and they require at least five-bedroom accommodation, similar to their current unit. There are very few such units in the local market, and none are in the current advertisements. This is where landlords usually start pulling their hair out, waiting months for rent, only to hear that they might have to wait a few more months with no guarantee of payment. You can practically hear the frustration. The landlord's conduct matters too. A landlord's behavior can make or break their case. If they've interfered with the tenant's ability to pay rent, say, by refusing cash payments when a tenant doesn't have other means, or pulling stunts like invading privacy with security cameras, then Section 83 could delay or deny the eviction altogether. Similarly, if the reason for the eviction seems retaliatory, like filing for eviction after the tenant complains about the property, the adjudicator will see right through it. No one likes a sneaky landlord, and in cases like these, evictions are often refused outright. Mandatory refusal of eviction. Now, if the landlord has seriously breached their obligations, Think serious maintenance failures that render the kitchen, bathroom, or bedroom unusable. The RTA says an eviction must be refused, regardless of unpaid rent. A landlord's responsibility goes beyond just collecting checks. They need to ensure the place is livable. Of course, if the landlord was unaware of the problem and the tenant never reported it, the adjudicator might cut them some slack. But if the landlord's been playing dirty, like illegally entering the unit, harassing the tenant, or even refusing to take cash when it's the only payment option the tenant has, the hammer might come down hard. There are layers to Section 83, lots of them. While it may seem like a landlord's worst nightmare, it's all about balancing fairness for both parties. And as with all things legal, context is key. So next time you hear Section 83 in a hearing, remember it's not just a loophole. It's a safety net for when things get sticky but boy, is it a lot to think about. Let's look at what the RTA Section 83 of the Residential Tenancies Act 2006, the RTA, actually states. One, 
upon an application for an order evicting a tenant, the board may, despite any other provision of this act or the tenancy agreement, a refuse to grant the application unless satisfied, having regard to all the circumstances that it would be unfair to refuse, or b order that the enforcement of the order of eviction be postponed for a period of time. 2. If a hearing is held, the board shall not grant the application unless it has reviewed the circumstances and considered whether or not it should exercise its powers under subsection 1. 3. Without restricting the generality of subsection 1, the board shall refuse to grant the application where satisfied that a. The landlord is in serious breach of the landlord's responsibilities under this act or of any material covenant in the tenancy agreement. b. The reason for the application being brought is that the tenant has complained to a government authority of the landlord's violation of a law dealing with health, safety, housing, or maintenance standards. c. The reason for the application being brought is that the tenant has attempted to secure or enforce his or her legal rights. d. The reason for the application being brought is that the tenant is a member of a tenant's association or is attempting to organize such an association, or e. The reason for the application being brought is that the rental unit is occupied by children and the occupation by the children does not constitute overcrowding. In addition, subsections 83, 4, 5 of the RTA provide that the board must refuse to grant an application for eviction if the landlord has not paid any required compensation to the tenant. Essentially, Section 83 permits the adjudicator massive latitude to decide if an eviction should be delayed or refused based on the conduct of either party. This latitude is primarily used to benefit the tenant, but in rare situations, this section could benefit a landlord. Like this video and subscribe for more helpful content.